Hey everyone, um, so today I received my Cosmopolitan magazines featuring Seventeen. Um, I bought all three. Uh, they had two different versions that had like two separate units on them and then they had like a special edition that had um, all the members. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the box and then we can look at them. Okay, so I have them here. Um, I ordered my albums from Aladdin and often with like um, music bookstores they have a thing like if you order or like pre-order a magazine or something they'll send you like a free skincare thing so I did get a skin food <laughs> peach cotton juicy cream um, I believe it's like a hand cream I don't really like peach scent so I'll probably be passing this on to someone else but I think it's kind of nice that they do this um, especially considering the magazines like aren't super expensive the unit ones were like 6,000 Korean won and the special edition one was maybe like 9,000 or something. I'll put the price in the in text here. But um, anyway, so here are the two member versions. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, these are the same inside. And then like the 13 member one has like special limited photos. So I'm just gonna look at one of these first. Um, so this unit had Hoshi, Ming Hao, Jung Han, Vernon, S. Coops, and Uji. Um, let's just see what we have. I guess it's called Get Ready to Move. And it gives you page numbers, which is nice. So let me go there. Okay, so here's the spread. Um, I do remember seeing on Twitter last night and this morning, uh, there are like interviews in here. So you can find like translations of all that on Twitter already. Um, but I w just wanted to give a closer look at the photos. Um, so this already, I feel like I say this all the time. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like the white and black, like serious aesthetic that a lot of groups do. Uh, Seventeen does quite a lot. So like this is kind of meh to me. Um, some of their outfits I seem to like. I kind of like Singwon's. He has like a blazer with shorts and then like sandals, kind of like that. I like Wano's outfit. Let me give you guys a closer look of everything. Um, but yeah, personally, this just isn't my favorite design aesthetic for Seventeen. But that's just me. I'm sure plenty of people like it. Okay, so it looks here we have like individual photos of each of the members. So first is Chung Han. And then we have S Coops over here. I do like this S Coops photo quite a lot. <laughs> like if this was a poster, I'd probably hang it. That's so interesting. Why it looks like to be an age order, but why? I guess it's not really because June's not next. Interesting. Yeah, I guess it is just kind of a random order, but here's Shua. His photo's really nice too. And Hoshi. Um, I do like all like the color differences so far. Like Johan's is blue, Coops is purple, we got pink, orange. I'm into that. Then we got Vernon here with like a magenta, magenta gradient. I really like it. This is really fun to me. All right, and then here's their unit photos, it looks like. Yeah, so I prefer their like individual photos to this. I can't believe Coops is wearing a tiger jacket. <laughs> How did Hoshi feel about this? <laughs> I wonder if he tried it on. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yes, I am loving these colored photos. Um, June's, wow. June looks really good here. And Wano's <laughs> is what made me say wow. <laughs> Yeah, really like these photos. Ooh, I like DK's a lot. Then 
This is kind of like giving me face the sun carrot version vibes. Like, okay, wait, first let's talk about Mingyu because Mingyu, you can see his nose freckle. I'm so happy. What do you guys think of the face the sun previews? What are your feelings on it? Um, I'm a bit on the fence with some of it. Here's the other unit, <clears throat> which is Singwon, DK, Jun, Shua, Mingyu, Dino, Wanu. Um, yeah, with Face the Sun, I'm just, I don't know, like, there's some versions I really like. I really like Ray and Path the most. Like, those are most in line with, like, what I like. I do actually like Control a lot. I think it's a really cool concept and the photo cards that we saw in like the video are really really cool in my opinion like they're dressed you know all serious but a lot of them are making cute poses I'm into that um but like pioneer was kind of a miss for me I know a lot of people liked it um I just I don't know I'm kind of bored of like studio photo shoots with white backgrounds I don't know it's just it seemed kind of like an afterthought Pioneer especially. I do like this Ming Hao photo a lot too. He's such a good model. He's like become such a great model, Ming Hao. Got Dino. I almost didn't recognize him in this photo. <laughs> I looked at this and I, my brain had to com compute who this is. It doesn't, it almost looks a little bit like Mingyu at like first quick glance. Wow. Oh, and then I got Singwon. Ooh, I like Singwon's jacket. And I like his photo. I like the colors, the red and the pink and the purple. Uh, so here is like the interview part. Each of them got asked, I think, like five questions. And they're each um, asked different questions. And some of them um, are like aligned with them personally. Like, so they did do, you know, their research or get to know the members instead of just asking them like random questions, you know? Um, so I'm not going to like show you these like I said you can find these on Twitter and other places probably but yeah it's nice that they gave each member like a chance to put in their own thoughts and everything okay so it looks like that's it let me just flip through quickly okay yeah so that's it um I believe the other version um has the exact same photos it was just like a different cover um so here's this cover I'll show you this um, the second unit. Okay, here it is. Yeah, and it looks like it's all the same stuff. Um, so these are the same, just a cover difference. The only reason I bought two, both of them um, was just like to support Seventeen, because I do think I'm trying to get away from buying magazines. I'm definitely not buying as many as I used to, um, but I do think it's like important to support when you can, if you can with magazines because it does reflect well on the artist like if the magazine sees wow this artist sells a lot like they're gonna you know call them up again for <laughs> more covers and whatever so I do try to buy it when I can um and then usually what I do is I just cut out the 17 pages and like I keep them in like a storage box I don't know what to do with them I need to like eventually put them in a binder but a lot of magazines are not like a four size so I have difficulty like finding sleeves for them um so right now they're all just in the storage box and then I use the rest of the magazine um I do like random scrapbook and you can't even call it art but like I make like <laughs> scrapbook collages and stuff so I usually cut up the magazines for that kind of stuff anyway that was a side note <laughs> um let me get the special edition version okay so here's the special edition um it is bigger than the regular magazine like it's taller and a little bit wider um I'm not sure if this has oh it does okay this has different photos anyway first let's look at um the cover I'll kind of pan I'm sorry I keep this things these things are so big I keep hitting my desk and camera so it's shaking um but here's a look at all the members um, it looks like here they have like 35 pages. Okay, so this looks to be the same photo that was in the other magazine. It's just like a bigger version of it. 
Ooh, okay, so it looks like maybe each member gets two pages. So this is, oh my God, I really wanna like frame this. I love this group photo. Um, so it looks like maybe we get the one photo that was in the other version, and then we also get a new photo of that member. And again, these are like bigger um, than the other magazine. So I already showed you this clips one. Let me show you this other one here. Again, really love these colors and the lighting and everything. Oh, I love this so much. Um, John Hans. Oh, interesting. I think his and the other one, it was like blue. And here it's just straight black and white. This one is giving me, you know, like Marlon Brando <laughs> vibes. I, most of you, I mean, not most of you. Some of you probably don't even know who that is. Ooh, Wanu. Yeah, so I think these are a little bit different. Um, like, Jungnans was different. I want us to have this white border. That might just be like a sizing thing. Uh, here's Wano's other one. Anyway, I started talking about this and I stopped. Um, for Face the Sun, I'm really looking forward to the carrot version, like the colors and the paint and everything. It's very much what I like about Seventeen the most is like that kind of fresh teen fun aesthetic. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, with the actual album, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, yeah, I don't know, like some of the designs don't really do anything for me, but I do like Ray is hands down my favorite. I love those concept photos with them and the fire. Like I think it looked really cool. Um, and Path is kind of the vibe that like I really like with Seventeen is kind of that nature, like we had it with Hengore and just kind of that vibe I really, I really like of Seventeen. Anyway, here's the other Shua one, but these colors and everything are like reminding me of the carrot version for Faces on a little bit, just cause they're like so bright. Okay, and it looks like this is the same unit photo, is that? Part of the design or is my magazine dirty? Hang on. Oh my gosh. So my magazine is dirty. Oh, that's so annoying. So I don't know if, let me lift it up. There was like this dirt streak on mine and I was like, is that part of the background? But it's not on this one. Oh, that's annoying. So it must have happened when they were like packing my magazine. Ugh. Oh well, there's Arnens. This jacket is so interesting. I think it has like, it has like rhinestones, but I think it has also something like metallic on it. I'm so sorry, I keep hitting my camera. Ugh. I need a bigger setup for <laughs> making videos, but all I have is my desk. Oh my gosh. No, these are new. I mean, this one, is not, wait, yeah, oh my gosh, so I guess some of them got new photos. Like, Mingyu's is totally different. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. It's radiant like the sun. I really like this one, and this one, he looks so good. I really like his longer hair. Um, I'm sure he's probably gonna cut it if he hasn't already, but yeah, I really like how he looks with his longer hair. Okay, like Ming House looks like the same photo. But then we have this one. This is kind of weird. It like looks like a like early mid 2000s music video, like in front of a green screen. <laughs> it looks so interesting. Ooh, okay, Hoshi's is the same. Hoshi's so cool. He looks really good here. Oh yeah, and he's not wearing a shirt. I remember seeing this on Twitter. He's not wearing a shirt in this photo, or I guess in this whole outfit. He just has a jacket. TK's looks the same. It almost is like Mingyu's was the only one that had a different photo. That's so interesting. I wonder why. Okay, here's the other unit one. Uji, this is his new one. Again, Uji's is kind of like Ming House. It's like a old school music video <laughs> but I love the colors the colors are really good the kind of like aurora 
colors. Oh, June. Wow, June. Such a beautiful human being. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I really like this. Here, see now. Oh, Adino's is different too. I wonder how they decided that. That's so interesting. You'd think it would be uniform, like everyone would have the same photo from the regular one plus an additional one, but some of them have different. So here's Dino number one. And Dino two. I noticed right away that this was different because I remember in the other one he looked like Mingyu, <laughs> which he almost kind of does here too a little bit. But the other one, like, really at first glance, I was like, huh? <laughs> oh, here's some one. Again, I like his outfit here. Oh, this one's dirty, too. This page is dirty. Oh, that sucks. Like, a bunch of my magazine is dirty. I think you can see that even without me holding it up. I think these are the same questions, but there's more questions in here because the paragraphs are bigger. I think the other one only had five questions. This one. Yeah, this one, it looks like each member gets about 10 or 11. So in the special edition one, you do get longer interviews as well. So that's cool. Uh, and this is a new group one. I think that might be it. Yep, that's about it. So yeah, that does it for looking at the video, uh, videos, <laughs> looking at the magazines. Um, I really liked the individual photos, like with the colors and everything and the lighting and the background. And I really like those. I like that a million times better than their group photos. Um, but yeah, this was a pretty good shoot. And I'm super excited the album comes out in like a a week now um, from when I'm filming this and yeah I'm really excited um, again I'm kind of on the fence about some of the versions um, and they recently like released a snippet of hot the song um, so I'm interested to see what that sounds like I can't wait for the highlight medley I don't know if that's coming out tonight or later but I always look forward to the highlight medley um, but yeah, so my next video will probably be unboxing albums and that. Can't wait to do it. So excited for the carrot versions. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, until next time, did you order this magazine? Are you excited? I'm assuming if you're watching this, you're probably excited for faces like me, but like what version was your favorite? Mine was Ray and Path, like I said, um, but Control looked pretty interesting too. Um, yeah, let me know any thoughts. I'm so excited to just like talk about a new album and a comeback and everything. Um, until next time, which will be Face the Sun time. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.